All right, Chief Potts, we'll just kind of kind of get it out of the way. The the elephant in the room, the article uh, in the dispatch that basically kind of uh, started the scuttlebutt, and I'll kind of you know hand that to you. That's I just printed out a copy of it, and it seems like it's getting a lot of attention from people today. Uh, first off, you know the the major headline, jump out boys. That that obviously has a negative connotation. Uh, is there a unit here, I guess, within the uh, Columbus Police Department, the, the Jump Out Boys? That's the first question. <laughs> no, there is no unit that's called the Jump Out Boys. Um, what we're doing is doing a pilot program. Uh, we've heard the citizens since we got here, and they talked about what are we going to do to reduce the gang and gun violence. Um, we put together a team of highly trained, qualified police officers who are doing the work in the community um, already, and we just put them centralized. And so they've been doing amazing work. However, they're in uniform. Um, they have body-worn cameras and they're in scout cars. And so um, it's offensive to me to go back and talk about a jump out boys that existed 20 years ago. Um, the division learned from that and we're not going backwards. And how long has this, um, I guess, pilot program, so to speak, how long has it been in place? Um, since about October. Mm -hmm. And I guess, what is the, the strategy behind it? To disrupt violent gangs in the city of Columbus. Um, their goal is to use intelligence, targeted enforcement. Um, this is not a unit that's going to be rogue. Um, there are several layers of oversight, including myself, um, and I ran a similar program in Detroit. And so I know what I don't want to see. I know what Chief Brian doesn't want to see, and we know what the community does not want to see. And so we've heard their concerns. We took that into account, and we're always looking at ways that we can improve and decrease gun violence. And this is just one of many ways. Okay, so the unit has been in place since October. What's the name of the unit? Uh, gang enforcement. Gang. It is exactly what it says. Their their sole fo focus is to disrupt violent gangs and groups in the city of Columbus. And kind of, I guess if you can, to kind of explain it to folks, walk, walk me through exactly what they do. Okay, so they use intelligence. Um, we have, of course, without giving you our tactics, um, we have people who are specially trained on following gang members through social media and different things like that. This unit is the enforcement arm of that. So once we know and identify a gang group, um, they do the enforcement. And when you say enforcement, uh, you know, arrests? Arrests. Um, if they're armed, you know, charge them with the necessary lawful charges, um, and we see them in court. And so I will tell you this, I'm extremely proud of this pilot program. Um, they've been in assistance since October, but before that, they were doing similar work in the precincts. Um, we handpicked these guys for that reason. We looked at their conduct, we looked at their uses of forces, and I will tell you, this is a, a pristine group of young men, um, and hopefully some women, uh, to be added, um, that are doing the work that we've asked them to do, that the community has asked them to do. And so it's important that when you're doing reporting that you tell the whole story. And so I was offended, my officers are offended, and um, the community should be offended. Um, kind of take me through the training that these officers go through. Um, they learn raid training. Um, they learn tactics, surveillance, um, and they're constantly being trained. Um, as I said, they've only been in existence since October. So with that, they've been to several trainings already and more to come. We're going to make sure that we're sending out officers who understand the mission, but also who community engagement. These are just not officers who are out here doing enforcement. They will be in a community servicing like we expect them to do. And um, the, the training, um, some of the training out of state as well, Detroit? Yes, okay. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously, there's some concern uh, whenever you talk about these sort of units. You know, we, we think about, you know, just in the last couple of weeks, the Scorpion unit, which was disbanded in Memphis. And your department is concerned about any sort of correlation with something like that. Absolutely. Um, as Chief Ryan stated so eloquently, we were enraged. Um, and, and I've said this at the meeting we just had at the church. I cried that night. Um, we as leaders would not want a unit that operated in a fashion that Memphis operated in. And so that's why we put parameters in place. This is not something that we're doing uh, in a whim. We're thinking long and hard about this unit and how it will be ran and oversight. Um, one of the things that we looked at with Memphis is the lack of supervision. And so we put parameters in place to make sure that they have several layers of oversight, including myself. Uh, can you kind of break down, because I, I think that's the big thing when, when people think about these units. Uh, Memphis had no oversight. You said you're at the top uh, of the I'm at the top, head, of, so to speak. Kinda, correct. Kinda so me there's up. me. There's Deputy Chief um, Sagal. After him is Commander Amy Haley. You have Lieutenant Zach Scott, who's running it as a lieutenant. You have Sergeant Gruber, and then you have the police officers. 
Can you see the concern among some people in the community with a unit like this? I, I mean, I know you say you have your, your safeguards, uh, you know, the training, but it's just whenever you think about units like this in the past getting in trouble in not only this department but other departments, can you see where there would be some concern? Absolutely, and, and, and even me being a mother, you know, um, being in a community, um, but we put those parameters in place. There's a concern anytime you do enforcement actions, right? But I'll say this, speaking daily to mothers of murdered children, talking them and, and having them add members, um, sadly, to their group is, is why we're doing what we're doing. The gun violence and the gang violence in Columbus must stop. And so that comes with enforcement. Um, it's always going to be um, angst, right? Even as a leader, patrol officers just doing patrol can, can go um, wrong. But that's why we highly train our officers. That's why we're taking our time. That's why this is a pilot program. And that's why we're looking at all avenues to make sure that we can limit the possibility of anything going wrong. Uh, at this point, can you say how many officers are a part of this? I don't want to give that out. Mm -hmm. um, but I will say that, that these are highly trained officers um, committed to doing the work, committed to the vision that the community has tasked us with, um, and committed to making sure that they do it legally, lawfully, and ethically. Do you think this is uh, the sort of, when, when departments develop these units, do you think they should talk to members of the community first and get their feedback? Absolutely. So what I, what I would say is we talk to the community all the time. Um, and this is a pilot. As we continue to build this out, if that does occur, um, we absolutely want community um, input. Um, it's important that the community know what we're doing. Um, Chief Ryan said this since the beginning. We're very transparent, um, and we want to make sure that we're giving them all of the information which is why it was important for me to speak today. And um, just, just to be clear, this unit, everybody is wearing a uniform, everybody has a body camera. Is, is that the, the plan going forward? That is the plan going forward. I would tell you the proposal um, is that they will be fully uniformed. Um, they won't do anything in plain clothes except surveillance. Um, and any enforcement action will be in uniform in a marked scout car. We're just figuring out what those scout cars will look like and what the uh, uniform itself will look like. And this unit has been in place since October. Uh, has it been, I mean, again, I know it's a pilot program, but can you tell if it's been effective? Oh, my week? goodness. I'm glad you asked that. Um, in the months that they've been here, um, and this is just 131 felony arrests they've made. Um, they've arrested 74 gang members, recovered 82 weapons, um, and brought in 16 homicide suspects. I'm not going to even talk about the, the amount of drugs that they've seized. This unit is extremely effective, as every other unit within a division, including patrol. And so um, what I will tell the citizens is we've heard them. We've heard them since the day that we stepped into Columbus. They want us to eradicate gun and gang violence, and this is just some one of many ways that we plan to do that. And uh, what would you say to those folks? Because there are always going to be naysayers. There, Absolutely. There are going to be people that say we don't need um, a unit like this. This could potentially lead to something down the line. Well, every um, uh, good intention, you know, everything starts with good intentions, but that may not be the case. What would you say to those people who have concerns about that? Trust us. Trust that we will do the right thing. I think over the last 18 months, we've proven that we are accessible. We hear them. We take the criticism to heart, and then we come back to the drawing table and make what we want to see Columbus. Um, we want our police officers to serve them, protect. But I will also say the gun violence, the gang violence in Columbus has to stop. And so with that comes risk. And these officers, um, I would go through the door with them. I'll tell you they're highly trained, they're committed to doing this job, and we support them. And with this unit, the, the buck stops with you, basically. The buck stops with me. And uh, if I've shown anything else, that um, I hold people accountable. And this unit knows going in what our expectations are. We're very clear. Um, they're not going to be allowed to treat the citizens of Columbus any kind of way. Um, but I'm not even worried about that because we've hand-selected these individuals for that very reason. Um, they're qualified, they're committed, and they've been doing this work even prior to being in this unit. Uh, anything else you want to stress about this unit or just about the, the story today or, or just something that you think the public needs to know? Um, 